All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an AdWords campaign very, very quickly and safely so that you do not waste any money. So let's dive right in. Now, real quick, before you start, you need to have the landing page and the conversion action determined. That means what you want you know, your visitors to do. In this case, for this example, we're using my friend's uh, dance studio. Uh, the site's going to get rebranded, but this is a landing page, and we see there's a clear call to action on the landing page. So this is dance lessons um, for kids. So with that in mind, we'll go ahead and create a campaign. So what you want to select is search network only. Turn on all features and name the campaign very simply. So dance lessons for kids. Uh, then if you are if you only serve a certain area then make sure you select the right location so that customers who aren't relevant aren't seeing the ad so they're in Lakewood and then with the default bid for here you can just put 10 cents for the budget five bucks and delivery method set to accelerated um, if they have calls call extensions you, know, you can put that in there and we'll scroll on down, no scheduling, add rotation, make sure we set this to rotate evenly, hit save and continue. Then we're going to name it the ad group, the name of the keyword. So ad group is the bucket for the keywords. Again, just, just do this for one page. So this is kids dance lessons. Okay, and we use regular text ad. Now, here's where you got to spend a couple minutes um, and think about you know what people want and what else they're saying uh, what others are saying for that term so the core keyword kids dance lessons so take a look here at the at the ad so here they're showing different types of classes um, this one singles and couples so obviously not really for kids here's one dance classes for kids all ages and all levels um, so this just kind of gives us a sense of what's out there and give you some ad copy ideas. All right, so we'll have the main headline be the keyword or very relevant to the keyword. So notice how it's dance lessons for kids, not um, not just you know YMC dance classes or the name of your company because we want to be relevant to what they're typing in. So the description line, a little trick here is you want to use the benefit statement. Um, so we'll say boost confidence and social skills because this ad is not for the kids it's you know it's really for the parents and I'm typing as I'm talking uh, build boost confidence and social skills so that's always in line one get the benefit and the description line is it can be more of a features and a call to action so ages 3 to 18 so fun fun classes free trial Free trial. Uh, let's see. Not free trial. Let's see. Uh, book now. Okay. So like a, just a call to action, telling them. And here it's fun classes for ages three to eighteen. So we're just giving them again, playing on the kids theme. Then uh, what you do is copy your landing page, put that in the final your final URL, and then the display URL needs to match. Um, and I always put the www. And they lowercase it now, so to dancedenver.com. You could put kids here, but I just always, for me, the website works better. So now they'll give you some lesson, they'll give you some keywords. So you can either, if you have your own, you can do that, or some of these are pretty good. So dance class for kids, dance lessons, kids, dancing for kids. So that's, and this is usually, sometimes it's pretty good, sometimes it's not. Now what we want to do here is change it to phrase match. Okay, this is one of the ways that we protect ourselves from Google, especially when you're newer, sucking all the money out of your wallet, because that is, that is not what we want. So put the quotes on these keywords. Boom, boom, boom. Double quotes. Okay, and um, just start, I always start just at 50 cents just to see what it'll say here on the next step, hit save ad group. Okay, so we're saying now, usually this is gonna be, say really high, sometimes it's a little off, so I don't always ignore it. So now we're gonna add in quality score. Okay, it's in there and look at that, look at the quality score for 
these keywords. Okay, where is it? Quality score. It's strange. It says it's, oh, okay, here it is. Okay. Quality score. Here it is. All right, so six out of 10. That's good. And you know what? Usually after they review it, it'll go up. Um, so based on this and looking at these guys, I would raise the bid to $1.75. I like to get it you know close to the top of where the first page bid is all right now what we're gonna do is create a duplicate ad so that we can split test and see what message resonates stronger with people interested in this keyword so before we're talking about confidence and social skills uh, now let's talk about help develop mobility and rhythm so more physical attributes hit save and that's it so everything is all set and now you go into maintenance mode now the reason the budget was five dollars a day um, oh and I put Lakewood California not Colorado fix that the reason the budget was five dollars a day and you can set it to wherever you want but start it lower especially if you're newer start it lower because that's going to prevent um, any mistakes or giant ad spend coming up out of the way so start at five bucks a day and then what you want to do is just log in at the end of the day and take a look and see okay you know what keywords uh, were getting impressions and which of these two ads were people clicking on and that's the again this is a very simple setup there's a lot more to to AdWords but you got to start somewhere so start with one small campaign make this work and then you can really, really grow and leverage the power of AdWords, even though it's still pretty competitive. All right, I hope you found that helpful. Make sure you subscribe and click the like button down below so these videos come right to you. Thanks.